In this video, we will cover the estimating layout portion of the MeasureSquare software. To begin, click the Estimate tab and then select what materials you would like to estimate for and click OK. You'll see that the program automatically chose a layout direction based on minimum wastage. We have product quantities listed on the left and above you'll see we have a horizontal tool where we can select what materials we would like to estimate for. The program will ask us if we are sure and then you'll see that the program runs the whole job in a horizontal layout. If we would like to change the layout direction for just one room, we can click on the room, select set layout direction, and choose the degree of the layout we would like and you'll see that in our waiting room we are now running a vertical layout. To move a seam, simply click and drag it around until you are happy with the placement. You see as we're adjusting our seams that the program automatically recalculates for our waste. And that we can also snap our seams to the corner as indicated by the green dot in the draw room. We also have other seam tools such as switch seam side or switch layout direction. Next, we will add a T-seam by going up to our Seam tool and selecting Add T-seam. Wherever we click with our cursor, a T-seam will be placed in our room. To remove a seam, simply click and drag it out of the room. We can also add in even T-seams by selecting our Add Even T-seam button, then entering the quantity of T-seams we would like to place, and then selecting which side of the seam we would like those T-seams placed on. We can also get a visual reference of each piece on our cut sheet by clicking the piece on the cut sheet which will highlight that area blue in our diagram. We can also manipulate our pieces in the cut sheet view to get a better waste optimization. As we move these pieces around you will see that the waste percentage is lowering slightly more out of our product. Once we are happy with our cut sheet manipulation we can lock our seam locations by selecting our room and then choosing our lock seam tool. You'll note that those seams now show as purple. This means that they cannot be moved around while we manipulate the seams of other products. This will ensure that the waste ratio we calculated for will be applied in our worksheet in later steps. To lock down a room location, simply go outside your room, right click, and select lock room locations. You'll see that the walls and dimensions are now listed as purple so that we cannot move our rooms which will help keep them in place during seam manipulations or other estimating procedures. We can also go into our system settings and select material layout where we can adjust default settings for our layout estimation such as default cove size, our roundup or our roll cut length. When our, we are happy with our changes, we can click Apply and then OK to save those changes. 
To estimate by layer, click the Estimate by Layer button shown in the Option toolbar, and then click OK. Note that the Estimate by Layer checkbox will be selected after this change has been made.